हेलो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स Welcome to your favorite show Science for Juniors. I am scientist Radhe Krishnan or SRK as you all prefer to call me and she is my lab assistant Bini. Ah Bini, what is the secret behind that million dollar uh, that is surely an exaggeration? I mean the secret behind that big smile on your face? <laughs> Oh that. <laughs> Actually professor, I came back last night from a wonderful trip with my friends. I'm so happy. The trip was real fun. I enjoyed so much. I guess your family would also have enjoyed these two days a lot. Oh no sir. They didn't come with me. I went with my school friends. I know that's why your family would have enjoyed two days of peace at home. <laughs> oh, professor, you always <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what I was saying is that I love traveling. Hmm, really? Yes, very much. Hmm. You know there is something in our body that loves traveling like you do. Something in our body? Yup, the blood. It keeps traveling in our body 24 into 7, visiting various parts of our body many times. And the entire system that enables this smooth traveling is called the circulatory system. A uh, circulatory system? Ah. We need to take a closer look at this system. So why don't we enter the virtual world to understand this better? The circulatory system. In this module, you will learn about the circulatory system. Did you know this one? In all multicellular organisms, the transportation of minerals electrolytes nutrients gases and hormones are conducted through blood and the blood circulatory system the circulatory system consists of the heart veins arteries and capillaries and that's a lot of stuff inside our body the heart is a triangular bag of thick muscular tissues just about the size of your fist Our heart has four chambers which connect to arteries, veins and capillaries. So that means that the blood doesn't travel alone. It takes nutrients, minerals, hormones etc along with it. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, you can say that. I must add that you are making this analogy really interesting, Bini. Ah, that why is everything so complicated look again now what is it that is troubling you bini oh um, oh um, uh, professor i was thinking about heart oh yes i forgot about the heart you know our heart plays a very important role in our circulatory system it works exactly like a pumping machine pumping machine but how is that possible ah Just put your palm on the left side of your chest and focus. Can you feel something? Yes, I feel some thumping. That's the proof that your heart is working and pumping blood continuously. And for your knowledge, let me tell you that the heart pumps blood 70 to 72 times per minute in a normal person and in 24 hours heart pumps about 7000 200 liters of blood. Wow! That's stupendous. Now I understand why people say, "Ha, oh, my heart is beating, keeps on repeating." <laughs> <laughs> Benny will be Benny always. Let's get back to the virtual world to see how blood carries nutrients and other things to different part of our body. Do you know capillaries are a type of blood vessel? Blood carries absorbed nutrients from the intestinal wall and different hormones from the endocrine glands to different organs in the body. Our blood also carries oxygen and other necessary chemicals to all parts of our body. 
the blood first distributes oxygen and other materials and then collects carbon dioxide and waste material. Then it comes back to the heart and is pumped to the lungs for the exchange of gases. Sure, it's one long journey. Hmm. So, from my understanding, what I have learned so far from today's trip to the virtual world, I believe that the blood has a lot of work to do while it travels. Am I right, Professor? Yes, and mind you, it is all very important work. Rather, I should say that it is all a matter of life and death. Ha <laughs> ha! Thank God! Thank God for what? Oh, for the fact that when I travel, it means vacation for me. I don't have to do any important work or study. It's all fun and play for me. <laughs> I guess everybody is not as lucky as you, Binny. I don't know about everybody, sir, but surely not the blood. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, Binny, you are surely becoming smarter in my company. Thank you, Professor. <laughs> I was wondering, what is blood made up of? I mean, since it travels so much, transporting such important things to various parts of our body? Good question, Binny. Let's find out the answer in the virtual world. The liquid part of the blood is called plasma and is made mostly of water. Guess what else it contains? Pretty good try! Plasma also contains dissolved nutrients minerals, electrolytes, hormones and waste products like carbon dioxide. <laughs> now, what was funny in that? Oh, nothing, Professor. What, nothing? You laugh to yourself for no reason? You know, only two types of people in this world do that. First, the one serving their term in a mental asylum or, to put it most simply, the mad people. And the second? The second category of people are, well, scientists like me. <laughs> I'm sure that you don't fall in the second category. So unless you want me to categorize you in the first category, you better tell me what was it that made you laugh. Well, it may sound a little stupid, but you know, until today, I associated plasma only to televisions. Never knew that they are a significant part of our blood. Ha <laughs> ha! Binny and her associations. But now you know, Binny. Yes, yes. Uh, sir, I had one more question. What makes our blood red in colour? It is the red blood cells. By the way, I must tell you that not all animals have red blood. What? Yes, let's have a look at this in the Do You Know section. Do you know that different animals have different colour of blood in their body? Really? But how? The colour of blood in any animal depends upon the type of pigment within the blood that transports oxygen from the lungs to the tissues. Different animals have different type of pigment in their blood depending on the need of their body. And that's why the colour of blood varies in these animals. Yes. Oh, that means any colour. Yellow, green or uh, even blue. Yes. Do you know what colour of blood do earthworms, leeches and insects have? No. It is green. Starfish and many other animals without backbone have clear or yellowish blood. Wow! I could never fathom a yellow colour blood. Now, guess the colour of blood of lobsters and crabs. It is blue. Blue colour? Now I understand the phrase blue-blooded animals. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, now it's time for us to go for a quick memory jog. So let's take a look at what all we have learned today. And don't forget to pay attention. Let's recall what we have learned. The circulatory system consists of heart, blood, veins, arteries and capillaries. Our heart is four-chambered 
and looks like triangular bag of thick muscular tissues. Blood is transported through arteries, veins and capillaries. Blood carries oxygen to all body parts through arteries. Blood collects carbon dioxide and transports it to the lungs by veins for exchange of gases. Blood also transports absorbed nutrients and hormones to different parts of our body. The liquid part of blood is called plasma which contains water and dissolved nutrients. Benny, hope you have found today's session quite interesting. Oh yes, Professor, very much. So now you know that besides Christopher Columbus, there is something in your body that has beaten you in your new passion, traveling. <laughs> Yeah, the blood, I know. Now don't feel low. You also know there are certain things at which you are the best and no one can beat you at it, right? Oh yes, Professor, you are right. There are many such things, like shopping. You know, one cannot beat me at it. Once I went to this shop and I saw this real good purse and you know what happened? Benny will never get over shopping. <sighs> Anyways, it is time for me and Benny to go. But we will soon be back. Till then, you keep exploring the wonderful world of science. <laughs>